Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a quick reading for you. Hopefully it'll be quick. I always say quick, it's never quick. Anyhow, let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message from you. Aquarius, thank you for being here. Thank you for clicking the like button as soon as you come in. Like, like, like. Uh, thank you to those who just have gotten in, in the habit of doing so. All right, so Aquarius, when I pull the cards for you initially to get some overarching energy for you, I was like, I don't want to do it. I don't want to read this. I'm tired of reading it. But then Spirit said, no, look at it differently. They want to play around. Let's play with them. So what we're going to do here, Aquarius, we're going to talk about the cards. We're going to talk about what the cards mean uh, for you in, in regards to maybe other people or one particular person. And, uh, you know, one particular person. Um but, but we're going to look at it from the standpoint of, I don't know if this would be empathy or apathy. It's just more so like, it's so I'm, I'm hearing like pity or yeah, I don't know. Maybe even like seeing that somebody is um, losing it pathetic at this point, you know, or it is pathetic because let's talk about what somebody is up to. Now, Aquarius, this can always be your energy and how somebody feels about you. So cross, cross watcher, go ahead and, you know, you know, switch it around if you need to. Um, so we get seven of wands, king of wands, page of wands. So when we see that many wands and the three cards spread, all of them wands, it talks about someone trying to do something really quickly because the wands are about action. Okay. And it's about inspiration and determination. Funny we use the word determination because the seven of wands talks about someone like persevering, seeing it through, won't give up, hanging in there, fighting for what they feel like they have, not what they want, but what they have. The seven of wands also talks about someone trying so hard to get your attention and then also maintain it. The seven of wands can talk about someone trying to come into your life with a destructive influence. So we get, to, we could go into sex, drugs, rock and roll, definitely sex with all the wands coming up, right? So we've got somebody here, King of Wands, Page of Wands. We've got somebody here who wants to maintain your attention uh, by this intense desire that they have for you. This could be when the King of Wands comes up, a lot of times he's already married or coupled or he's already given his obligation his responsibility, his duty to something or someone else, whether that's his job, his position, uh, his business or another person. But this doesn't mean that he's settled down. It just means that he's already given obligation, duty, responsibility to another person or thing. Right? So it just seems as if this person desires you, you're in their heart's desire. Something has been set on fire in regards to this person or this group of people. It's like they just really desire to be around you, want you, have you, have sex with you, do something with you, have fun with you. This may have even been a person who played with you. I think that's why the universe said, you know what, they want to play, let's play with them. You know, at this point, we're just looking at it like we're just reading the cards. It just is what it is. You know, and this is what wants to come out because this person or these people are trying to dominate the energy then let's just read it. But we're going to read it in the mindset of uh, we're doing nothing about it. You know, we're going to let these people feel how they feel or this person feel how they feel. Let it all play out, you know. Maybe, hopefully, let it all burn out. We have all these wands cards. Could talk about fire, right? Uh, this is definitely someone from your past who was in and out, played with you, made it seem as if they were going to establish something real with you, something true uh, foundational, maybe even have given you a commitment or said that you guys were committed, but they failed to act, failed to act like a committed person. They failed to give you a uh, real, um, stability, obligation, duty. Like they gave it to something else or someone else, or it just wasn't with you at this point. This person definitely wants to have like some makeup session with you, some whirlwind romance with you that goes nowhere because it, it could be a false start. They already know this. You would know this. It's, it's going nowhere fast. Okay. And they know this, they just need to have you, have you in their energy. We're going to talk about why. Okay. 
and we're gonna pull some cards for why. This card, after I pulled the three cards, this card fell onto the floor, the five of swords. So mental manipulation, games, drama, third party situations, win, lose, draw, uh, a fight. Somebody is pulling out their hair or they're going crazy not being able to penetrate your aura, your energetic field, um, not able to get a rise out of you, not able to, again, get your attention, the seven of wands, and maintain your attention. This is um, this is how they, they're feeling right now. Um, the five of swords also, I said five of wands, um, they could even be gossiping about you. Um, they could even want to like knock out the competition or they feel like there's somebody else or something else. This is, at this point, this person feels like it's bad blood or it's, it's, um, it's aggression between you. The wands could talk about, this could sometimes be Aries. I don't know. It could be sex and aggression. You know, so this person wants to have sex with you. They aggressively want to have sex with you. Maybe that's what used to pull you back in in the past. Maybe that's what they're used to using to get people hooked on them. Because the King of Wands is upright. This is mental manipulation. It's like they want to manipulate you into believing that this is real or their love for you, their desire for you is real. That can actually manifest into something real. It can be realized. It could be like a pentacle. No. Why is this person or group of people wanting to have Aquarius back or I don't know, they wanted to, definitely wanted to have sex with you or some type of you know, passionate opportunity with the Aquarius. They're also seeing that you're changing, you've changed. You're just living life on your own terms. It's like they want to be a part of something. Red is coming out. I don't know if you, they could be red, turning red, mad, just mad. They're going crazy, mad as a hatter. So like they're going crazy, you know, not being able to get you back. They were manifesting off of you. When you were in their life, the temperance card and the magician, it was like you brought a lot of peace, serenity, balance, calm to their life. They were able to have more, do more, be more. It could be dealing with the Virgo or Gemini, Sagittarius. It could be any of those signs. They can have it in their chart. I don't know. Yeah, you brought peace, calm to their life, uh, turbulence, even when they were going like through drama at work or with family or you know, having taken on children or young adult, maybe a young child also. I don't know. It's like you... You, you may have given good advice with the magician card. You could talk this person off the ledge. You knew what to say. You stepped in and you made things right. You were um, the problem solver or it just felt like home peace with you. Somebody also feels like they could have had a wealthy marriage with you, healthy, wealthy, long lasting, balanced, they feel like you're their yin to their yang or yang to the yin. I don't know. Again, something about being able to soothe maybe with the words because the magician governs speech. I don't know if you were able to give them a speech, you know, talk to them and again, talk them off. The, you took matters into your own hands. Yep. So they would give you a problem, whether they said, oh, I want you to fix it or not, Aquarius, you may just jump to it. Like, okay, well, so what? The boss said what at work? Okay, so then you should do this or you should do that or um, I'll type this up for you or I'll, you know, whatever, I don't know. You just kind of just jumped in and did it. 
They're looking for that same energy. They're not finding it with anybody else. And they want it back with you. Um, there could be a lot of turbulence happening in their life. Okay. And um, you, you are the person who could, who will, who would, at times, you will calm the storm. Okay. Okay. Because there could be turbulence here. Five of swords. Yeah. Reversal. Interjection. Um, a very chaotic, tough, tension, like, tense workplace, family life. And they want you to come in and six of swords, give them good advice, talk them off the ledge, help reconcile things for them. Take matters into your own hands. It could even be giving someone money. They want you to make something right. Or they feel like with you, there's peace, there's balance. You know how to make something right. Or you know how to make it, you know, equal or fair or balanced or your energy. Could just be your energy. So, so this is why they want you back. There's a lot going on in their life and they want you to help calm it. What should Aquarius do? What is the advice in regards to what Aquarius should do? Two of Wands, Ten of Wands. Wow. These are two cards that go together because in the Two of Wands, you'll find that if you do your research, it says in the Two of Wands, you have to make sure that you make the right decision because it can lead you to a karmic road and then the ten of wands can sometimes talk about karma the karma that we create for ourselves so it says aquarius make sure you make the right decision in terms of dealing with this person get wands more more wands coming up because this could lead you to karma more karma or maybe um interfering with someone getting their karma or you being a part of negative karma or you getting involved in something where you have to take the brunt of, you have to take on this person's burden. Look how that man is carrying these staffs or these sticks. Take on this person's burden, fix it for them. You don't know when it's gonna end. You don't know how you're gonna get yourself out of it. And they just kind of displaced all of this on you. Also, it talks about, okay, so let's say you are dealing with a person who doesn't have a lot of drama at work or in family life or whatnot. It says that if you involve yourself with them again, with the two of wands and the 10 of wands, if you decide, because the twos are about decision, if you decide to involve yourself in this relationship or with this person again, guess who's gonna do all of the work? The 10 of wands, you. There you go. It's like trickery. It's, it's, it's definitely trickery. The cards want you to see that there's something brighter, bigger, grass is greener on the other side of this, not in this or with this or doing this for this person. On the other side of this, the grass is greener. You can't leave this alone. You can't cut this out. Uh, it talks about temptation, planning, anticipation. What you can anticipate is to carry this person's heavy load. And that's what they want you to do. Or they want the burden to be on you. So it's like, let me set the scenario for you, Aquarius. So you choose to, you decide to deal with this person. The first week is sweet nothings. It's the love bombing. It's the, you know, I mean, they're landing on thick. The sex, the second week, you start to see remnants of the past kind of show up. So you're calling or you're texting. You're maybe not getting calls back right away or not, if not right away, uh, cause we do have a life, right? Um, you see that it's kind of dwindling when you get on the con on the phone with a person or you're texting, the conversation is kind of lagging. It's all on you. Uh, you may even be saying, well, when are we going to see each other? When are we hanging out? Or when you may even be trying to set something up and you might even get the run around, especially if they've already got the chance to have sex with you. So you see how you get involved in this and then they're going to put the burden all on you, this heavy load. Now you have to, you have to just keep showing up for the the relationship, not knowing where the fuck is going. Like, this is just, it's going to be without intention. And that's the karma that we create for ourselves. When we do things without intention, you start college, four-year university, with no intent to graduate, then you're the ten of wands. You're just doing it. You just got your head down and you just 
on autopilot, which is stupid, right? You start a job. Maybe you start off in the mailroom. You have no intention to move up. You're just so content with the mailroom. This is the Ten of Wands. And then you find yourself still in the mailroom 10 years later. Or you find yourself flunking out of college or your fifth year, you know, college student, you know, um, Ten of Wands type of energy. You, you ran into it with no intentions. Therefore, this is what you get, the karma that we create for ourselves. You meet a guy at the bar. He seems nice. You, you know, you guys are chopping it up, whatever. Maybe you, you exchange phone numbers. Um, maybe you hook up that same night, you know, or maybe the next night. And then it's just a constant hookup. And then it's two months down, two months down the line. And you're like, well, where is this going? Well, first of all, when you started it, you didn't have any intentions. It was just to hook up. So now it's 10 of wands, you know? So be cautious, be very cognizant of just be thinking all the time, especially if you're over a certain age or what you're engaging in and how you need to be intentional in all of your doings. Okay. Everything that you put yourself in, into be intentional, have intentions because you'll never feel like it's a struggle or it, or you don't know where you're going or you're, you're just wandering or you're on autopilot because you went into it with expressed intention so it also talks about you know you you get in the advice here if you get into this with this person it's going to be without intention and um yeah it's going to be without intention it's going nowhere fast it's just gonna just be the same old same old what does this person want to say to aquarius I mean, I'm so tired of reading this, but it's Mercury retrograde, so we'll get a lot of this Aquarius, so just deal with it. We're just looking at it as entertainment at this point. I um, hope that if you feel like the reading resonates for you, you make the right decision in your life. Wow, Queen of Wands. I knew she was coming out. This is a karmic situation. King and Queen of Wands. It could be very karmic. It was a relationship where there's a lot of action being taken, a lot of reaction, a lot of action, a lot of sex. A lot of, you know, aggression, sex, you know. Um, it also says choose yourself and be wise. Promote yourself, put yourself out there. Listen to your inner voice, higher self, higher intellect also with the yellow here. And practice emotional, you know, intellect, the sunflower. Um... Yeah, it says, it says a practice emotional intellect. What else is it telling us with the Queen of Wands? It's telling you that, yeah, that this person definitely wants sex, sexual activity with you. No, no outbursts. You don't need to like listen to this reading and then call these, this person up or whatever and tell them how you feel. You have to give them peace of your mind. Um, quiet, you know, just be quiet. You know, what is this about? The death card, yeah. Put an end to this sexual activity. Also, some of you need to close the wound down. Close the WAP down. Close the wand down. It's closed um, for construction. You know, um, some of you just need to close this down. You also need to call back in your sexual energy. This person also could be doing like some type of sex magic, masturbation, something like that to pull you back in. Okay. Yeah, this is what they, they're doing to bring the relationship out of, try to resurrect it from death or from it dying. How to transition the relationship here. This is what maybe this person is doing. It also says definitely call back your sexual power. Your sexual, the, the soul tie, the connection. What else is this? The Queen of Wands and the Death card. 
It says cut. Oh, oh, the cord. Cut the cord also. Cut the cord. The energetic cord between you and this person. The soul tie cord between you and this person. What else? Okay, so wisdom, Saturn, seven of pentacles, learn the lesson here. Um, keep distance, space, time between you and this person. You don't, you know, look at what you've planted thus far and maybe how you haven't got a return. Yep, five of pentacles coming out. Wow, have you, how you haven't got a return on your investment in this relationship with this person or people. Um, and then um, use wisdom, discretion in, in regards to how you discernment, in regards to how you respond or how you don't respond. This could be someone's lesson here. Maybe the other person's lesson is to they somebody still thinks they have a chance with you. Their lesson is to pine over you. Like they're like crying over you and thinking about you and just going over and over you know the mental the whole mental nine of swords type of energy over you over the relationship and that just might be their karma this is what they have to deal with and the universe is saying allow for it to happen and if you are in a place of missing this person or missing the energy feel the feels let it go through you the seven of pentacles talks about just accepting that this is a period of time where you and this person, there's no activity. You, there needs to be no activity for you. Some of you need to close the wound down. So you might not be having sex with this person, but now you get somebody else. Some of you just need to shut down for just a bit, just to recoup, regenerate. And now if you are doing that, we don't need to hear how You've been celibate for 10 years down in the comment section. We're proud of you and it's great, but we don't, we don't need to read it. Um, and if you know that it is, this is you, this is something that you need to do, then, you know, take heed to the cards. It's seven, seven and a five of pentacles says that you intuitively know something. You, you intuitively know that they're missing out or they're missing your sexual activity they haven't find found anyone like you the sex is best or bomb with you maybe because your emotions were in it your feelings were in it you know and maybe with the other people they they don't feel the same way or it's not the same uh, the five of pentacles it's like this person can't stand to be ignored not acknowledged by you um it's, it says that also you need to come out of the energy of feeling like you got used or taken advantage of, you know, understand your worth and then you'll never feel used. If you know that you're worth, let's just say if we had to put a dollar amount on it, you're worth one billion dollars. And then you start dating a $40,000 a year earner type of man or woman. Now, you know, a lot is going to be re like asked of you a lot. You know, you're going to do a lot. You may pay for all the dates. You may pay for the trips. I mean, you, you're going to do a lot, right? Because you're worth $1 billion. But if you go into the situation knowing that, oh, this is a $40,000 a year earner and I'm 1 billion, uh, I'm a billionaire. Um, you know, I could never be used. Shit, I'm worth a billion dollars. Like, okay, I bought your car or I paid your 
mortgage up or for a year or I paid your rent or I don't know. I, you could, I could never feel used because I know how much I'm worth. Now we're only putting dollar amounts to it so you understand what I'm saying, but it could be in terms of your intellect, Aquarius, your positivity, the true nature of you, you being an earth angel, extraterrestrial, you being, you know, dynamic, wonderful, having great idea. That's worth something too. And if that person knows that about you, then they're going to always draw from it. They're always drawing from you. They're always pulling from you. They're always manifesting from you. They're always getting a good idea. They're always taking your idea and going somewhere else and sharing it with others. And so therefore when the relationship ends, you, you can't say, well, I, I feel used. I feel like I got used. I feel stupid or no, it's, oh, you know, I'm great. I have great ideas. You know, I'm very creative. I'm giving, I'm open. It is what it is. It's their loss that they'll never be able to draw from this well water, water bearer. They'll never be able to draw from this well again. And that's how you have to walk away. Um, and it could be monetary for you. You know, I, I put out a lot of money for this person and they just used me. Okay. Well, money is for most of us. And I pray for all of us. It's continuous. You know, you, you spent the money and, and you made more, right? Right when you were spending it. And some of you, you made it later, but you, you got it back. And that can't be what holds you to a situation. The money I spent or the time I spent or the years I spent, it is what it is, you know, and no one could do anything to you that you didn't allow. I spent 20 years with this person. I wasted 20 years with them and they cheated and they lied and they hurt me. I, I know somewhere in those 20 years, definitely around maybe year what let's give, let's give you five year five you knew that maybe it was a possibility that you needed to get out of this so no one can do to you what you don't allow you got to take responsibility and you got to put on your big boy pants and your big girl panties and say you know it is what it is uh, it helps you to grieve also you know it helps you to grieve accurately process your emotions but as long as you stay in well, he did and she did and they did and that, you know, then you're a victim, right? And then what we'll do is give you a pat on the back and some tissue and we'll let you just be a victim. It's pretty much what we do to victims, you know? Do you want something to eat? Would you like something to drink? You know, make you feel better. But um, eventually you have to come out of that. You gotta start to process so you can move forward. Uh, so that whole thing was some for somebody. I don't know. Um, let's see. Yeah. So we got somebody wanting a reunion with you. I don't know why they want, they want reunion with you. So we talked about yesterday about these, what these words mean. So reunion, you know, it's like you go to a family reunion, right? You're just going to meet all of the family you hadn't seen in forever. Maybe you'll meet some family you've never met. Maybe you'll meet the new baby. And it's just reunion. It's not reconciliation. You aren't going to get with your family and go over the accounts of the family and talk about how Uncle Johnny is a, a pedo or, or so forth. Or we're not going to talk about how Aunt Lisa is a kleptomaniac. Or we're not going to talk about, you know, how... Um, you know, granddad used to hit grandma. We're not going to talk about it. We're not going to have reconciliation. We're just going to have a reunion, okay? We're going to eat food. We're going to smile. And um, we're going to all go back home. And we're going to talk about it at home. <laughs> so, you, so when you hear these words and these readings, we still have to be practical. We still have to take a practical approach to things. So if somebody, you know, you, you listen to these readings and the reader's like, they want reunion with you. Well, don't jump for joy just yet because that's just like a family reunion. We're coming back together. We're not going to talk about any of the shit that I did to you, Aquarius. We're not going to talk about how I cheated on you. I stole from you. I lied to you. I left you at that restaurant for hours when I said I was going to show up. Uh, we're not going to talk about how, I, you know, um, I busted up your car. We're not going to talk about how I got you arrested. We're not going to talk about how I, and you know, uh, slandered your name. And we're not, we're not going to talk about, we're just going to have reunion. And we're going to sit and act like 
nothing is between us. You know, it's all good, right? Um, so that's what reunion is. And reconciliation is another thing. It's going over the account of, we're going to, you know, that's when people want to shake the table and, you know, jump over tables and, you know, so forth. Um, so, uh, that, that's for somebody too. I don't know. Um, let's see, who are you dealing with or what can we gather from the Amir love Oracle? Let's see, what can we gather? What do you want to tell Aquarian spirit, 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 true gem. Yeah. Someone didn't realize that you were a true gem. Expect the unexpected from the least expected person. I mean, you would never expect this person to reach out to you first. You would never expect this person to make some, try to make some amends or apologize to you or give you a gift or, um, what else can we, we find out about this? You, some of you could be getting in, you know, engaged or proposed to on a, you know, um, I guess the brighter side of this, if you're not in, in some type of drama, okay. A dark male, it could come from a dark male. You could expect a gift or a proposal or something of that sort. It could be proposal in terms of marriage. It could just be another type of proposal. Like, you know, how about you, you take over my house. You can take over the house payments. You can live here. I don't, I don't want to live here anymore. Or how, how about you come live with me? Or, Hey, how about you take over this car? You know, just so you can have this car, um, just, uh, maybe pay me a hundred dollars a month or something. You know, it could be any type of proposal. It could even be, you know, it could be in business, you know, Expected from a dark male, either darker in, you know, skin color in their, the hue of their skin color or in terms of like, I don't know, they could just be in the dark. They could be of the dark, um, the low vibrational. You just would never expect this from them. Okay. Um, because you know, they're just not an ascended person. They just don't think like that. Let's see. Yeah, maybe because they feel like you are a true love or you gave true love. Oh, you gave true love. Look, the hand is giving the heart. So you gave true love, Aquarius. You can't get over this. We talked about that earlier back here in these cards about how maybe um, they can't find, they can't replicate what you gave to them and anybody else. They chose somebody else or a lot of somebody else is over you, but they have, they have not been able to you know, um, Xerox you at all. <laughs> Some of my younger people are, what the fuck is Xerox? No. Um, <laughs> Some of my, uh, my uh, more mature crowd, get down in the comment section and explain Xerox. <laughs> um, yeah, you gave true love. You gave away. They're not going to get this shit anywhere else. <laughs> I mean, come on, you know? And that should be, that should be a part of the grieving process for you too, Aquarius, you know, just lashing it off and just understanding that, you know, come on, they're not getting this anywhere else. They're not going to get it anywhere else. You know, it, once again, they're lost. They're lost. They're lost. It is what it is. Uh, let's see. Yeah, they could be at a distance from you. Or you put distance between you and them. Like, you just like, nah. Um, I don't want to be in your presence. And I don't want to be around you. And I don't want to be around people that you know. And I don't want to see you. And I, I blocked you on social media. And I blocked all the people that you know, that I know. That, I, you know, I just, you put some distance and some time between you. And it's also been a long time that maybe you've heard from them that they've reached out to you or you to them. They could be longing for your true love. Also your love. They could be talking about you, trying to get the scoop on you. Also, maybe even gossip about you. You know, when they couldn't get to you, they started to gossip about you, lie about you, maybe to others, maybe to feminine energy. Maybe they, they, they wrote their own narrative about what happened in the relationship as people do, you know, can't do anything about it. Just shrug it off and move on. They wrote their own narrative. Um, 
they also were like all talk and no action when you were with them. So it's just like you, you had to put distance between you and them. It was like, I can't keep listening to these lies. I mean, at this point, I'm the fool. Uh, so you just were like, yeah, I'm good. And um, when they couldn't get to you, they started to lie on you, lie about you, spread rumors. They also, I'm hitting like trying to gather information about what you're doing, who you're doing it with, where you've moved, or if you've made a move, or if you're with someone. Let's see, what else? Yeah, with the yellow back here in the back, it's like they could be talking to friends, trying to gather information about you or anybody. They could be talking to people at work about you. Or they feel like it's hard work trying to get you or they feel like you're a hard worker or you're focused on work you're not focused on them okay you could have met at work um, or they go to work and they gossip about you maybe they talk like gossip in terms of oh yeah my ex was a you fill in the blank my ex was this and they were that and they did this and they did that oh yeah I had to of course they've written their own narrative as maybe you have too I don't know everybody's having a different experience right perspective so they could just be telling the story how they want to tell it, fabricating, exaggerating, adding shit in, you know, I don't know. Uh, they're doing a lot of hard work to slander your name. They're working real hard to defame you. Some of you could have fame. It could be other women. It could be women that they, they have dealt with. or It's two women here. It could be women that they've dealt with or people that they've dealt with or women like friends. That, whom, they're like gaining up or combining forces to come against you, right? They're working real hard to do this. They may have gone to your job and slandered you there and Maybe I just got you fired or tried to. You've got fair male. So it could be someone with fair skin. Maybe light eyes, light hair. I heard people think this person is trustworthy. So you believe in what this person is saying. This person also, oh, this person could be, oh, I'm getting another storyline. This person could be going to someone like an energy worker, paying somebody to get the scoop on you. They're working hard to get information about you and because they feel like you're a soulmate or high level soulmate or you're someone that they want to be with. Don't fall for the hype. You know, I could know that somebody is my soulmate right like okay yeah that guy is my soulmate if i could treat him like shit you know it doesn't for some people it just doesn't change anything so um they could know that you're a soulmate but okay and you can get ignored too you can get played to soulmate it's like so i don't know just be cautious of that don't kind of lean into that to the point where it's like, oh, well, they know I'm their soulmate. And you just, you know, you blow the top off. You're, you know, you're so, you know, you just get too excited. They can just know you're a soulmate. But they aren't really ready to make any changes for you. Yeah. This is somebody going to somebody paying somebody to get information about you, about who you're dating. Have you found a soulmate? Yep. Where do you live? What you're doing? It's like somebody's, they could be talking to friends, gossiping, definitely trying to get the scoop on, um, if you've got somebody else or who you're dating, where you move, what you're doing, what you're up to. They may have got some news from an energy worker that you are going to find a soulmate. Travel, mature woman, 
short term that you're going to find somebody while traveling or once you move away from this, you're going to, yeah, you move, you're going to find someone, you could be a, a mature lady that this relationship was just for the short term. They could just be getting some knowledge that the relationship was for the short term and then there was going to be a breakup. It was to come into your life to show you what it is you don't want, you shouldn't tolerate. Look, this is a clock. So it's, it always had like an expiration date, a deadline, a stop to when the when you guys were going to break up. They may have gone to somebody and they told them this, you know. They told them like, um, Aquarius might find somebody else, or they you guys weren't meant to be together for a, a lifetime. You may travel a lot or you want to, or you have a desire to travel. There was some breakup or surrounding maybe short-term travel. It didn't happen or maybe you guys went on vacation with one another and then you broke up shortly after or during. Let's see what else. Leo could be significant, the lover. So we got a lot of fire. Sagittarius, okay, more fire. So we got somebody extremely passionate, combustible, you know, maybe about you. You could have this in your chart. It's Pisces, got somebody dreamy, very romantic right now. Um, we have gone to maybe psychic or tarot card reader, somebody to get information about you. Capricorn, the boss. It was somebody who was more so rigid and kind of stuck in material, stuck on themselves, stuck in believing that, you know, people have to come to them and concede to them and be on their team and be on, you know, get on their game plan. Could be a male here with the sun. They were just like being very rigid, unmovable, maybe even toxic, um, dramatic playful they played with you you know uh let's see fourth house so it could be family members or they could um something about their background their up come up bringing um their habits you just like the feminine okay this man is rooted to could be dealing with a cancer or somebody who was like maybe they didn't have a very nurturing upbringing whomever this is you know they don't even know how to deal with women the woman in their life the mother the first woman in their life which is your mother wasn't very nurturing caring giving loving maybe kind of cold hurtful could have been a Sagittarius, Jupiter. This person was all about expansion for self, maybe Mercury. In terms of their communication, it was sporadic. It was about self. Um, it was about, you know, traveling and ex uh, potential. This person can feel like you're home also because you got this very expansive um It's very expansive type of energy about yourself. You also like you edify in your words with Mercury coming up. Your words can just bring about so much potential. You speak life into you pour water into life source into people. Again, they could be creating some type of narrative about you, about the relationship. Uh, they're thinking back also to the relationship, how smart you are, how they can come to you for advice, how you always had a game plan, um, how enthusiastic you are, optimistic you are, generous, benevolent. Um, that's why they feel like it was home with you. And they have not had this in their upbringing. They want to communicate with you. What else? Scorpio could be Scorpio, the animalistic side, the secretive, passionate, compulsive. So they might have been very compact, like compulsive, destructive. 
you know, they did what they wanted to do and they dealt with the consequences after afterthought. Could have been very carnal, lusty, primal, just like, you know, all about maybe sex, intimacy, aggression, secrecy. They may even have a secret surrounding their sexuality. Taurus coming out with conjunction. I think these are opposites. Somebody was like all about like carnality, lust, mystery, obsession, compulsive behavior. The other person was grounded, practical, just steadfast, productive, you know, fertile, just loyal, deliberate about everything. This could have been you, Aquarius, could be the other way around. And it just, you came together and it was like, maybe you, you joined force, forces and it activated something because it was like polar opposites. Something was overriding. I don't know if you were, your good nature or your practicality was like overriding their very lusty, compulsive, obsessive type of energy. Like you were trying to make them better or bring them into the light. And they were trying to drag you to the dark because it's like override and overwhelms and maybe even saturates. Like, so it's like, Maybe they felt saturated in your love. They didn't know how to accept love. They didn't know how to be loved. They didn't definitely didn't know how to give it. You could have been dealing with somebody who dealt with, again, childhood issues, you know, deep-seated issues of the past. And maybe you just didn't know how to stop giving when there wasn't reciprocity. And that was your lesson to learn. That is a lesson, yeah. You don't keep giving to something that is not giving back to you because you'll run into depletion. And then who has to fill you back up? Oh, you got to go find God. You got to go find spirituality. You got to go find answers. So it's just like you need to always be practicing self-preservation, understanding that if things aren't reciprocating, you got to move on. Yeah. And you got to learn how to just walk away. Cut your losses. It is what it is. You know, it's, it's easier said than done, but you have to be strong enough to do it. That's why you need to be in relationships. You need to find love when you're strong enough for that. Because some people are just too weak. Um, yeah, you might have been just dealing with an outright liar. Just lying. There's no safety there. You know, you just didn't feel comfortable. You feel like they had your best interest at heart. Yeah, it's been weeks of no communication because they were unkind to you. You could have had sex with one of your friends or they're having sex with their friends. With you, they found security. You didn't find safety or security with this person, but they find it in you. Um, something isn't. I don't know. Let's see what isn't. Yeah, it, okay, it isn't healthy. You need to, you know that you needed to eat more veggies or just be a part of something that was healthier for you. And this isn't, it wasn't healthy for you. Yep. Because they were putting others before the relationship. They, this is somebody who didn't know how to be loved. Okay. But they liked that you were soft. Maybe by Thanksgiving you'll hear from them or they want to give you thanks for giving them so much love at this point you just need to say a prayer that they move on yeah you don't need to make any moves and, and they're not either if they do they just need to be honest you may have told this person don't talk to me anymore maybe they said this to you it came off rude but you just weren't interested in being friends with benefits More messages now they're obsessed with you we saw that with Scorpio 
instead of doing that deep scorpionic dive into your emotions and like fixing yourself like they've done it they're deep diving but it's like okay now i'm just obsessed with the aquarius obsessive compulsive now it's like okay i gotta do anything to get them back because i don't like feeling this way i don't want to process my emotions i don't want to look at what i've done i don't want to learn lesson here i just want the aquarius back so they can feel this void that i have of not having true love in my life i just want them to come and fill me up not that they're going to fill you up you know or they're going to give you anything of value but please aquarius come back and give me everything that you have because i'm used to taking and you're used to giving so don't be hard-headed don't have to learn the lesson the hard way and this person is hard-headed like you just there's no getting through to them. Pig-headed, stubborn. Maybe about this relationship. Something about a house or a upbringing. Uh, it's just like they just won't dig deep, you know. Wow, can't make it up. This just fell out onto the floor. They are complacent because they're fearful of digging deep. All they want to do is try to recover the relationship or the marriage but that's all they want to do is like, I just want to recover it. I want it back. There could be, we talked about this earlier. We kind of glanced over it. This could be gay, lesbian, bisexual relationship. There also could be like some issues, conversation that needs to be had around someone's sexuality because someone's keeping it from the other, the other party. You know, maybe they lie, you know, or maybe they have thoughts of, you know, I don't know. Um, love. I don't know what love is. What is love? You know, it's muscular. Love is hard. Love is hard. Yeah. Love. Maybe to love somebody completely or fully or just be honest in love is hard for this person. Maybe that's why you're divorcing them because all of the promises made, but they didn't make any, they didn't make good on the promises. They think that they are just God's gift to women, men. They think they're so handsome, you know? I um, mean, maybe they are, you may, maybe them being attractive has gotten them very far in life. Any last cards for the Aquarius? It's like a lot of energy of don't talk to me anymore, text me, don't call me, putting up boundaries. And someone feels like it's unfair. But you, you're saying no and no compromise. They're coming with these little love bombing. I love your smile, but they also could be a drunk or they get drunk and they, they start this BS. But you, you finish it with have a good night, take care. Because you're, you're no longer waiting for this. You could have made a complete turnaround in the month of March. Like your mind completely changed about this person. Or maybe by March 2023, 20, your mind will change. Um, someone could be missing you or you're missing it or missing you like hell. Uh, maybe they're going to heal. Hurt people, hurt people. Let it sink in. It's in the reverse. Maybe somebody's going to come to a determination that what you were saying, it was all true. They're going to come out of, or maybe they're still going to be like all talk, no action, because they're just going to miss the mark again. They're not going to get understanding. Oh, okay, so somebody could even try to come back to you, you know, under false pretenses, false narrative, they're still going to be hiding something because we talked about how in the beginning, this person, the King of Wands, most times has obligations somewhere else. So they want to keep you as like friends with benefits, platonic, but they also want to hook up with you again, have like an anniversary. And they're angry. Or they feel like you're angry because you weren't there for them or or that you weren't, they weren't there for you, or you just can't be there for them, maybe because they're too immature. It's just the same old, same old, same narrative. 
and it just keeps coming out because you know this is what's going on with maybe a great deal of you right now you even want to try to pull something different yeah it's just the same thing run leave this is what maybe the shells want to tell you to do somebody already has a family or maybe you've left your family and um, someone definitely is doing magic okay. and maybe talking about you at your job or they're trying to have something happen to you at your job or lose your job or magic surrounding your job let's see love coming out again but there's something hidden or they hide their love they don't know how to love they're all up in your business they have mental issues now we talked about them going crazy because you won't talk to them they want to give you a message that um they miss you i miss you oh this last one was right here prayer yeah i said that you maybe just need to pray that they move on uh, they could be praying that you come back. Uh, cut the deck here. Yeah, you're in your Queen of Cups type of energy. Energy, I love it. So, um, just focused on self development of self development of psychic abilities, a development of so many different things about yourself, about you, because you have like a layered personality. You got a lot to give. So it's just like, okay, I'm just gonna continue to develop me and what I have to give. Right. Yeah, I'm going to close this out and let something I'm going to I've learned my lesson here. That's what the world card is about. Okay. Uh, going through the lesson of all the other major arcana. Aquarius is here. Uh, it's like you get messages from the divine. It's, it's like you're easily able to communicate with the divine. Also, the woman who's in between space and time and um you could be, I heard astro tripping. Okay. Um, you've won something or you, you're winning something or you're um, graduating with the reef here, the lower reef. Like you, you have victory over this life lesson. Okay. So it's, you're victorious here. All because you're not going back to, yep. You could be rejecting a cancer or um, doesn't have to be that they're cancer, but you could be rejecting something, rejecting a proposal. Somebody's inability to see that they what part they played in this could be a cancer is getting them rejected. You've been getting some answers in meditation also. All right, so Aquarius. Hopefully the next reading will be about something different. I think I'm going to bring another reading out for you to see if there's any new energy, new people coming to you. But again, I hope that this reading gave you some clarity and that you can, you know, make decisions in your life. When these people come back, you can start to kind of pinpoint what this means and what they really want from you and blah, blah, blah. And so that you can just move through the timeline of your life and stop staying stuck. Okay. Stop going backwards. It's just not going to work with some of these people. I don't know. You got to get a personal reading to see if it's going to work with your person. I don't know. You know, I don't know any of you. Um, so I'm reading for the general, you know, Aquarius reading. So um, thank you, Aquarius. All links are below. Get your own personal reading at the website level. Uh, the $50 readings are still on sale. Take advantage. It's pinned to the top of the comment section. So go ahead and get involved in that, you know, and I'm live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night at 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. If you feel like you took anything from this reading, you learned something, you can always get back. You could buy me a coffee. Yes, yes, yes. I do like coffee. Okay. Um, so you can buy me a coffee. Hey, let the energy exchange happen. I give, you take. You guys give to me. I take it all in and then I give back. You know, so let the energy exchange happen. Let it be a circle. Don't be like your ex. Don't just be a taker, right? <laughs> Anyhow, Aquarius, uh, thank you for being here. 
if you you know you can't contribute monetarily you can always click the like button you can send me a message I, I respond to all of the messages um, so just let the energy exchange happen let it flow you'll see that other doors in your life open you know when you when you are continuously giving it's not always that you got to go in your purse or your your wallet but you know give something if you take and take and take and give something back you know it should be heavy on your heart to want to contribute to something that you're always involved in so if that's me looking at your favorite reader every day um or or anything you know that you are involved in each and every day and you have the opportunity to donate in any way whether it's monetary or not give and I'm not speaking from just, oh, I, I want your dollar so I can buy coffee. But, I, it, you know, I, um, I started this in my life years ago. And it just was like, it's, it's, it is, um, you can see the difference in your life. It's major. It's a major thing. Now, was I running around just giving out all my money here and there? And donate, you know, but some, no. But it was sometimes just saying something or giving the compliment or thanking and if I do have money to give, yes, donate. Donate. You never know where that can go. Um, you never know. You just never know. And it, it is, you know, it's not for you to know everything, but you just know that you actually, you know, um, you contribute, right? Okay. So anyhow, that's for somebody too. Um, I'll see you guys next time. Take care.